I'm just gonna let my phone tell me what to draw because that's the kind of mood I'm at today. Hello everyone! I'm happy to see... I'm happy to see you guys! Yay! I hope you're all doing well and that you're staying safe out there. Hopefully this video will give you at least a few minutes of distraction from this crazy world that we're living in right now. So yeah, I will let the autocomplete or the predictive text on my phone give me some art prompts to create an illustration from. And I got the idea from the Drawfee channel, they did this challenge recently and it just seemed like a lot of fun. I will leave a link to their video in the description box below, I just love their content, they are so funny, so please go check them out, give them some love. Alrighty then, let's see what my phone thinks I should draw. I should draw. For this round, let's just go with a middle option and see what it will come up with. I should draw a lot of things. To make sure it's fun. Okay. To see it and maybe I should try to... Yeah, get some stuff. <laughs> it knows me all too well. Boop. I should draw a lot of things to make sure it is fun to see it and maybe I should try to get some stuff done. I am the master of procrastinating so I feel a little attacked to be honest. Now, let's see what it will come up with if I can pick from all the different options. So I should draw something that would make you happy smiley so i should draw something that would make you happy that is so sweet it is a little hard to please everyone but i think i have some ideas let's try another one. Oh, let's see what color i should use i will use the color in the morning i will use the color in the morning i immediately got the idea that i could use the colors that you usually see in the sunset in the morning or sunrise, I mean, obviously. Let's try another one. Actually, let's try the Swedish keyboard and see what that will give me. So for all of you Swedish people out there, you will hear my beautiful skånska. Jag vill rita en bild av... It is either you or me, so I think I will just pick me. I can't draw all of you guys. So the predictive text is, I want to draw a picture of me. Well, maybe I can get something more out of this because I have when here. So I want to draw a picture of myself när jag är på väg hem. So we got a little bit more here. I want to draw a picture of myself when I'm on my way home. So yeah, that would be very interesting with the other prompts that we already have. Also, let's see if you can give me some suggestions what art supplies to use. The art supplies I should... Thank you, that was very helpful. The art supplies I should use to make a video of art supplies and supplies. It doesn't make any sense at all. Let's try the best art supply to use for a drawing is awesome! Yay! And fun! Best art supplies to use for a drawing is awesome and Fun. I'm pretty happy with how kind the predictive text is to me. There we have it. This was such a long intro. So yeah, we have a few prompts here to follow. As for the illustration itself, I should draw something to make you happy, which is a cat, obviously. What else? And I should draw a lot of things, so multiple cats then. And I also have to draw myself on my way home. So this little scene started to build up in my mind and I would talk more about it in just a minute but first I just want to mention the sketch process a little. I did work on the sketch and the line art quite a bit. I really wanted to make a piece that I felt happy with so I tweaked it a lot and I redrew it a few times. I also re-lined it with a different brush. I like to use the 6B pencil in Procreate for both the sketching and the line work. I really like the organic texture but since there is a lot of details like in the cat's faces, I needed a little more clean brush so I redid the 
the 6B brush to be a little more smooth but still keeping the organic texture and I really like how the lines turned out. Also the shoes, I am so proud of the shoes. And another prompt was to use awesome and fun art supplies, so why not use my Copics? I have picked out some pastel tones, blues and purples, pinks and some yellowish greens and warm greys inspired by the colors of the morning, which was one of the prompts. So now I think I have all the prompts in there, besides getting things done, but obviously I am still working on that. So I thought that since I am supposed to use the colors of a sunrise, why not draw a sunrise? In this illustration I am on my way home and you just have to trust me on that point. In the morning I imagine that I've been out hiking or at least walking. I am not really a hiking kind of gal but I do enjoy long walks in the woods though. I've been out wandering all night in the famous Cat Mountains, also known as Mount Everpur, where you always can hear this low purr echoing from the thousands and thousands of cats living there. And you have to be there at night time because that's when the cats are awake. It is a very beautiful and peaceful place and there I found a bunch of kitty friends that decided to follow me a bit on the road. I don't know if they want to follow me all the way home because they really love their cat mountain but they are keeping me company for a little while at least. And I first had this idea that I should only use pinks and purples and blues for the whole illustration. I think a limited color palette can be very interesting and fun to work with. I would have used pinks for the tree crowns and it would look like cherry blossoms, but I kind of trailed off a little from that idea because I didn't want everything to blend together and to be honest, pink isn't really my favorite color. I probably could have pulled it off with a bit more planning in advance Advanced, but I was so eager to get started on this illustration. I had actually planned out a little where I wanted certain colors to be, but I didn't really stick with that unfortunately. So that is one thing that I could make different to next time, actually plan out a bit better where I want the colors to be. And another thing that I also think I could have done a little differently is to have used a more desaturated green for the trees and the grass. The green that I used is very bright and I think it contributes to the art feeling a little rainbowy. I should have used a more bluish green and I tried to tone it down a bit with a blue shading though, which I think worked pretty well. However, a little voice in my head kept saying it is supposed to make you happy and bright colors are usually very cheerful and pleasing to look at, which was also one of the prompts, make sure it is fun to see it, to quote the predictive text. And another thing that bothers me a little is that pink colored bush behind the rocks. I was supposed to color some of the bushes in the background the same pink color, but I kind of forgot about that and I just colored them the same blue as the forest in the front of the mountains. And by doing that I lost a little of the cohesiveness of the illustration, because it looks a little weird when there's only one thing in such a bright color that isn't really any Anywhere else in the illustration. Sure, the sky is also pink, but this is the only thing that is colored in that pink, so yeah, it will catch your attention and not in a good way. But I tried to reuse all the colors throughout the whole illustration using the same blue as I used for the mountains to shade with, and the warm gray that I will use for the cats later I also used to shade with, so yeah, I tried to portion out the colors to get a good balance. And I tried not to add in too many new colors, even though I used a lot of colors. Overall, I had so much fun working on this piece. It was nice making a whole marker illustration. Sure, it isn't perfect with the shading and the lighting and all that. I am aware of that and I'm not really looking for critiques, so please hold your horses. And I know that my waist in the picture is a little off too. I noticed that afterwards it should have been a tad wider to line up with the upper body. But I think it turned out so cute 
anyway. The cats are adorable and I drew a full body person with shoes and that is a big plus in my book. So yeah, there is a lot of things that I'm happy with, but I also think it is good to be able to point out what could have been done better, not to be mean to yourself, but to actually learn and to improve to next time. I think this was a super fun challenge. It is interesting how a random weird text predicted by a phone can spark an idea for a whole illustration that I probably wouldn't have thought of otherwise. I love how it turned out, the coloring could have been done a little differently, but I like the concept and I might actually work on this in my spare time to tweak it a bit and maybe turn this into a print if I like it enough and if you like it. My favorite part is the sky and definitely the cats. I made them all in the same color, like they all belong to a special breed that only lives up in the mountains. I also think it added a bit to the cohesiveness that I was talking about before. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this challenge. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!